this is Ben Pierce, and Ben is one of our most successful artists also. He's a repeater from numerous um, Sculpture Walk Peoria. He also has a brother, Nate, that also is a sculptor and has been on the Sculpture Walk before. Um, I always tease, Ben is my favorite, and this year in particular, he is definitely my favorite Pierce. Um, this is universal inseparability, and in, inseparability has a lot of connotations to it. First of all, if you look at the form, it's like a Mobius strip. There is no start or stop to this form. It's going to come up, and if you keep going and taking your eye and go all the way around it, it continues as one form. There's no, those, there's no, there's no beginning and there's no end to it. Um, the other thing is, it's about relationships. It's about being this close together all the time. And one of the reasons that he focuses a lot on relationships and personal relationships is that he does struggle with depression. And so in his working through what happens in his body, he can conceive it and he can show us how immense, first of all, this is a very large sculpture, it is, but how the, the inside being and the outside exterior are so close together, they're inseparable. The other thing is, this is stainless steel, but instead, an, a lot of artists um, do not like the high reflective quality of stainless steel. So in his case, he takes a grinder. Now we've had numerous sculptors that use this technique, and what it does, it gives it a little bit of a glistening to it. But the important thing is to know that we had across the street last year um, a huge symbol, Pi. Um, and it was, had lots of grinding on it so that it glistened also, but it was very random and very large. In this case, this has taken him hours upon hours, I mean hundreds of hours, to put the surface onto his sculpture. And if you get real close, and on a day like today where the sun is shining directly on it, it almost looks like a hologram. It appears that this flat surface, it's just flat surface, but it appears that it has layer after layer. I can count three different striations that look like one is on top of the other. So it's really about fooling the eye as a sculptor. So we have something that is an infinite work. You can never find the start to it. And then you also have the surface that is so pristine and it gives you the idea that there could be hundreds if not thousands of little lines that are going through this one on top of the other. 